The WNBA playoffs begin tomorrow, and the New York Liberty will be a part of the festivities, which is pretty shocking given the start of the year they got off to. After a decent amount of hype surrounding the Liberty's talented roster followed them into the year, the Liberty got off to an abysmal start at 1-7, and, and after that initial 7-game losing streak, most thought all the offseason hype was for naught. But spectacularly, the Liberty finished the regular season on a three-game winning streak to cap off a 16-20 record, which was enough to earn them the seventh seed in this year's playoffs. It really all came down to Sunday afternoon, where the Liberty outlasted the Atlanta Dream 87-83 behind a dazzling three-point performance out of the Liberty's French sophomore, Maureen Johannes. The Liberty came out flat to begin the contest, but Maureen came through with a 4 for 4 three point shooting performance in the first nine minutes of the ball game to give the Liberty a tight lead to close the first. From that point forward, it was an absolute battle. Both teams playing for the opportunity for their season to continue, and Liberty proved to be the tougher team. Down the stretch, it was a super back and forth game, but in the end, Natasha Howard, the Liberty's veteran leader, banged a wide open corner three to give the Liberty a four point lead with 34 seconds to play. That two possession lead proved to be enough and Liberty held on and got the job done. Here's head coach Sandy Brondello on the gritty finish against Atlanta. It's like a playoff game, to be quite honest. I mean, we're playing for our lives and so we're Atlanta and and, and it, it, it showed that we've de I've developed in that area. Because earlier in the year, I don't think we would have won that game. It would have been too hard category, you know, competing, because it doesn't need to be pretty all the time. It's just, you know, making the right plays at the end of the game. The August playoff push that the Liberty pulled off was truly impressive. Going into this month, they were slated to play two sets of home and aways with teams who were also battling for playoff spots in Los Angeles and Atlanta. Liberty were very aware of how important these four games were. The difference between losing these four games and winning these four would prove to be an eight game swing in the standings. Clearly with the Liberty sitting at the seventh seed in the 2022 playoffs and both Atlanta and Los Angeles watching from home, the Liberty came through when it mattered most. Now that the Liberty have secured the seventh seed, a new chapter of their season begins and it all starts tomorrow in game one. The Liberty are flying to Chicago today to face the reigning WNBA champions in the Chicago sky. Candace Parker and co are surely nothing to scoff about, but for the 2-7 matchup, the Liberty have played them tighter than you may have expected. In their second game of the season, the Liberty got trounced by the sky and lost by 30. But in the two most recent games between these two, the Liberty lost a tight one at home by 3 before going into Chicago and taking an 8 point win. Following her playoff securing W, Sandy Brondello addressed this upcoming series. You know, obviously we've got a next challenge. We'll enjoy this today. It's a great accomplishment. And, and then we'll go into the, as the underdogs, which is which is not bad. It's just nice. Um, we'll play Chicago at Vegas. Uh, we've had some good games. We've had some bad games against them, but we've beat them um, at least once. So we have to go in that kind of confidence and hopefully uh, we can have a, you know, a good series. Well, if the Liberty want a fighting chance at moving on, they'll have to steal at least one in Chicago. It's a three game first round series, the first two of which are in Chicago. And if Liberty are able to grab one, the all important game three would be back here in Brooklyn. Thanks so much for watching with Liberty updates all season long. I'm Miles Grossman, WFUV Sports.